In today's video, we're gonna talk about how to start a successful weight loss journey and the three things that no one tells you when it comes to losing weight and why these are absolute game changers. So the whole premise behind today's video is something called the be, do, have model. And that's what we're gonna be talking about. And this is truly the three things that people just don't talk about when it comes to losing weight. And they're absolutely vital to your success. And if you can master these, I promise you, you're gonna have long lasting results forever. So one thing I want you to think about is in the past, you've probably tried to lose weight with a certain frame of mind. And that is, you know, if I could just have the body that I wanna have, if I could just be at the weight that I wanna be at, then it would be so much easier for me to be able to eat healthier and exercise the way I wanna exercise and speak to myself more kindly. And that's why if you've tried to lose weight before, you've probably felt yourself in this constant cycle and this never ending hamster wheel that you just can't seem to figure out. And it's not your fault. There's a lot of psychology behind what I'm gonna teach you today, this whole be, do, have model. And like I said, if you can master this and you can start applying it to your weight loss journey and just living a healthier lifestyle in general, you're gonna notice your results are going to skyrocket. Okay, so the first thing that no one tells you and the first part of this model is you need to embody the version of yourself that is already at your goal. So what I mean by this is you need to be that version of yourself that is already at the dream body that you wish to have, that already weighs what you want to weigh, that is already speaking to themselves kindly, that is already choosing nourishing foods and moving their body regularly. You need to embody that version of yourself now in order to be successful. And this is step number one. Without this, the rest of this stuff will not work. So how can you embody that higher version of yourself is what I like to call it you know, that higher version of yourself is already making the best decisions because that version of yourself knows that, okay, if I choose a healthier breakfast, I'm going to have more energy. If I choose to move my body today, I'm also going to have more energy. I'm going to feel better all around. So by embodying and really feeling the feelings of, of what it would be like to already be in the place that you wish to be, that's what you need to be embodying every single day. And I know that this piece takes actually a lot of trust and a lot of faith. And I've been there. I am 11 months postpartum. I had a huge mountain to climb when it came to losing weight um, with my daughter. I gained 53 pounds in my pregnancy and you know, most of that did not come off easily. And while I am very close to my goal, you know, there was a long period there where that mountain just felt so hard to climb. I didn't know how I was gonna get there, but I kept embodying that version of myself. I kept doing what I teach my clients and what I'm teaching you right now. And that is I, you know, I showed up for my workouts even if it was only for 20 minutes because I knew that in a year from now I'd thank myself. And that's the thing is you've got to be thinking long term. You know, that version of you a year from now, is that version of you going to thank yourself for showing up for yourself today? Yes. And these are the attributes that we need to be, you know, embodying every single day in order to get to the goal that we want to get to. And this is truly how I've gotten to where I am right now. 11 months postpartum, I'm so close to having lost all the baby weight and it's been a tough journey, but I've learned so much. And I can tell you right now that everything I'm teaching you in this video is exactly how I got here and how I got here in a way that was actually very enjoyable. I never felt like I was killing myself. I never want you to feel like you need to kill yourself in order to get to where you wanna be. Um, but that also isn't to say that it didn't come with its certain set of challenges. Number two is once you're embodying that version of yourself, the doing becomes a lot easier. So the idea here is be, do, have. So once you're being the version of yourself that is already at your goal, then the doing becomes that much easier. The making the decision to eat healthier, the making the decision to move your body, the making your decision to, you know, take care of your mindset and, you know, meditate in the morning or journal or whatever it is, 
those decisions become so much easier because you're committed, because you know that that higher version of yourself is already doing those things and that that's what it's going to take. And you'll notice that the cool thing is if you can really master step one, the embodying, the rest of the stuff just flows pretty naturally. And I, I realize that the embodiment you know, if it was easy, everyone would do it, but it's simple and repetition will help you get there. So embodying the version of yourself and then the doing of the habits that you need to do in order to achieve what you want to achieve will become that much easier. And then lastly, the having, right? So once you can be who you need to be and do what you need to do, then you can have exactly what you want to have. And, you know, this is where the model is often flipped. People think that if I could just have the body I want to have, then I could do the things I want to do and I could be the version of myself that I want to be. But you can see now why this is so backwards. It's very hard to make consistent good decisions if you are never embodying the feelings of that version of yourself that's already there. So I would love for you to give this a go and just see how it feels. See how it feels different when you implement this piece to your weight loss journey because I believe that these are the three things no one talks about. I've never heard anyone apply this to weight loss and I think that it's actually the most vital and the most important piece that you could be focusing on above eating healthy and above exercising. If you can apply the mindset work first, the rest of the stuff is going to fall into place naturally. And if you'd like to find out more information about what it looks like to work with me and learn even more mindset tips and tricks on how to have a lasting weight loss journey, um, you can book a call with me in the description box below and I'll put some more information there. I would love to support you on your journey. But if you liked this video, make sure to hit the like button below, make sure to subscribe and let me know what you learned from this video because I think this is probably going to be a new concept for a lot of you and I think it's gonna be really powerful and I'd love to hear your feedback. So please let me know in the comments below what kind of videos you'd like to see in the future and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.